What is this? This is the Onion Star Citizen. The Onion Star Citizen. Let's see what this is all about. Welcome to another episode of That Thing You Didn't Know Previously Existed and Will Soon Be Unable to Live Without. Bringing you the latest news from around the verse, this is the Medmon News Network. Okay. This month, following the immense success of the Rock DS comes a revolutionary concept, the Hawk DS. We had the opportunity <laughs> to speak with the developer who was involved in this breakthrough. But the Hawk isn't a so pointless ship. We've been hearing calls from the community for more gameplay loops. Give us more, give us more. And while we were figuring out how to actually do that, we had a Thank you, and dude. breakthrough we realized we could take existing gameplay loops and break them into smaller segments. This is how the Hawk DS was born. The new seat on top of the Hawk has full control of the EMP, which allows the pilot to focus solely on flying the ship. <laughs> this adds a new level of communication and teamwork, which we think people will enjoy. We're also looking at making it so that whoever may be in the prisoner pod can have access to a new size two turret. And during combat, for every criminal, wait, who's in the prisoner pod? Can shoot a gun. Their impending sentence, but we didn't stop there. We have another concept in the works. Remember the uh, elevator on the reclaimer? Well, now there's a seat for that. The seat is built into the landing gear and will allow someone to separately operate the elevator when needed. This allows for our new gameplay loop of Liftman V1, <laughs> which will hopefully be Yo, this channel's to amazing. Elevators in the future. After it was discovered that difficulty breathing on Hurston was due to worsening air quality and not heavy armor, the Hurston Air Quality Commission, or HAC, was formed to investigate the issue. As you know, Hurston Dynamics has recently established HAC, Party of One, to investigate potential causes of the worsening air quality. Anyone with information or ideas as to the causes... <laughs> are encouraged to see their local Hurston guard so they can make a formal complaint about it. And for the complaint form, we'll need your current address, licenses, and any known family members or loved ones, and their location. A new roadmap feature is being added called Predicted Bugs. <laughs> this allows players to see what bugs they might experience you, during Vidlitz. an upcoming patch. Examples of such bugs include clouds getting stuck inside ships, mines exploding on placement, and false FPS radar markers. Among the new features comes a new roadmap card, Accidental Switch Flips. In continuation with the current ability to trip over yourself while running or walking, this new feature will add the extra immersion of accidentally hitting a switch or button while piloting. This allows RNG to be added, which can then input a random value as to which <laughs> button should be hit. This can range from engines, missiles, or self-destruct. Intoxication increases these chances greatly. And in this week's Food for Thought, Microtech claims that the glitches and errors in MobiGlass use may be due to user error, and they advise oh my to make God. sure the device is being worn properly. Yo. Absolutely wonderful, dude. All right, I'm going to link this one to you guys. We'll link the, uh, the video URL so you guys can subscribe, dude. This is so good. There's another one? All right, let's watch another episode. Let's watch another one. Welcome to the back to back. News Network, amplifying the sad reality of space that and is putting so your good. life into perspective. Today at 3, should criminals be holding the UEE to higher standards? Complaints are being made concerning the relative ease of stealing various UEE ships, including the Navy Hammerheads. Also being addressed are UEE pilots constantly making rude or overconfident remarks before being destroyed. <laughs> A new harvestable vegetable <laughs> has been added to the roadmap, referred to as bounty hunters. These new vegetables can be found hundreds of kilometers above the atmosphere of planets or landing zones, but are typically able to defend and attack using various tactics and weapons, including torpedoes, a quantum drive, and constant ESP markers. <laughs> the Javelin is found to have a 10 degree blind spot where the pilot is unable to see or aim the size 9 turrets. Dual size 10 mirrors are being added along with an additional size 9 turret. Designers claim the minor size addition of the necessary mirrors. 30 struts will not affect pilot visibility. Prospector owners feeling let down by what they think is a massive oversight calling the ship a one trick pony. At first it was a really cool ship. You can make a lot of money with it and it's fun to use. But then you realize after a while 
all it really does is mine. I just wish it was more <laughs> combat capable. What? CIG has a new feature to deal with calls from the community to buff or nerf various ships. The feature will fix ships that are too strong and buff ships that are too weak. The new change will allow citizens to turn their ship into a silver cube with two size 9 railguns. Many customers are already satisfied with the new feature, noting that the new 77-foot ladder to the top provides good exercise. The cube is flyable using the built-in sim pit on the top. And coming up later, is Hurston air quality becoming worse or is the difficulty breathing being linked to wearing heavy armor? Yo, actually, actually good stuff, dude. Actually good stuff. We'll have to save some more Onion videos for the future. Every time a new one comes out, we're going to definitely have to watch it because those are great.